All right, everyone. I want to have a whole bunch of friends that have no idea what a virtual machine is. I'm sure there's a few of you out there that do know, but for the ones who don't, this is what they look like. Now they're mostly for testing purposes and you can do change settings, go into more advanced modes of settings and not have to worry about ruining it. If, like here is one computer, there is another one right here. And say this, this one here has all its updates. Say this one here got damaged in any way got a virus I couldn't remove because um, yes it gets on the internet it has it acts exactly like another computer if that ever went bad rather than fix it I could have fun fixing it and not have to worry or I could just right click and click remove and it's gone and with that one there I'd clone another one I'd be sure and always have two at least but you just highlight the one you want to use like I said this one has all of Windows updates in it and then you click start and this is what it looks like now they share the RAM if I, I have a little over three gigabytes of RAM designated to my virtual machine but my host machine this one here it has eight gigabytes of RAM so I'm using a little bit less than half and this one here the whole the virtual machine has Windows Windows 7 Ultimate and my host machine is Windows 7 Home Premium now when it's open everything on my keyboard works on here my mouse works on here the hard drive works on here if I put something into the USB port like a flash drive memory card anything like that it will activate on this machine too um, it gets on internet uh, see I got Google Chrome downloaded on it right now like I said it's a little slow it's barely just a little over three gigabytes of RAM I'm using right now I got it set for home for Facebook there but maneuvers around pretty good there's face there's YouTube and it's got Internet Explorer everything in the start menu is the same it still has all your programs you got Windows updates I've already installed all of them on this one you can create restore points um, you can restore it to an earlier time um, you can run a disk cleanup you can defrag it only the only you wouldn't want to do that with Windows 7 anyway that's scheduled to run once a week anyway and it's real hard on your hard drive and it shuts down the same way but see all of this wouldn't be able I wouldn't be able to record it because as soon as this shut down like right about now my well before this moment my recorder would be shutting down which is I'm using cam studio custom build right now and let's see you got your settings and system right here is where I would adjust my RAM I couldn't go too far if I use over half of what I have on my host machine it'll just locks up the host machine doesn't hurt it but it just you you can definitely you'll definitely know so you'd have to turn it down you got your storage your display um, you have video capture I don't have it turned on I'm recording from my host machine um, let me see what else uh, like I said this one here is the same exact thing only it's it's a cloned version of this one but it doesn't have any Windows updates in it. I'm just saving that in case this one messes up. Like I said, it's mostly for testing, uh, recording. Um, for instance, this one here, I was never able to record going into safe mode. Hit start and F8. And there's safe mode. 
uh, do out to save mode with networking and see right now my recorder wouldn't even, be, wouldn't even be able to run because the computer would not be on and, and it's just it's really great I really like it a lot and I could put Windows XP in here Mac Windows Vista and so on and I, I mean I could put them all right on that list that I just showed I could put them all right here down in the, in the single file it also shows a duplicate of what's going on on the display here but if you ever got a really bad virus or even BSOD they call it blue screen of death you turn your computer on it has such a bad virus you don't see nothing on the screen except blue well this is how you go about it you hit the start button and you push F8 over and over and then you select with your arrow keys on your keyboard you select safe mode or safe mode with networking now safe mode with networking it only uses Microsoft startup files and it ignores all the other ones which is most likely where your virus is settled in at let's see I guess uh, everything looks a little bit different in uh, safe mode it's got absolutely every single thing a regular computer would have um, I guess there's a few I can create a new one here um, download other Windows versions of Windows. Alright, I guess that's it. Thank you very much for watching.